Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to do a lot of work on this keep to get it up and running. Because right now, most everything is in ruins. Except it looks like... Let's see if... The, yep, looks like the inn is up. So we don't got much, but we got a place where we can drink. And Bishop's already here drinking. So what does the great captain of Crossroad Keep want with his humble tracker? Something you want hunted down, my lord? Or some forsaken path scouted? Oh, Bishop. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not going to do that because that's, that's what he wants. He wants to get into a fight. Uh... Got some questions. Don't we all? Is that going to be the same thing? Um, I think we already asked. Yeah, and we can't ask that because we don't have enough influence with him. Okay, Bishop. Hey, Saul. What are you doing here? It's you, uh, Captain, right? It's Saul. Saul from the Sunken Flagon. Well, formerly of the Flagon. I've been wiping tables for your uncle for years with almost, uh, with always the promise of starting my own inn, but it always seemed to be just words until you came along. Once I heard what you were doing here, I packed my bags, wrote a note, and here I am. Uh, yeah, why would you start here? I mean, there's nothing here right now. This keeps got everything going for it. It's right on the high road. It's got plenty of merchant caravans, and it got, well, you too. I figure I can turn this into a respectable inn, clean with, uh, clean with entertainment. Oh, and good food. I mentioned I'm a cook, right? Um, well, sure. Look forward to working with you. You're the boss. Well, the real boss is Lord Nasher and his agents already approving everything. You'll get plenty out of this. I'll bring customers... Uh, provided a place for the merchants to drink and eat and spend a little money. Look, trust me, you need an inn, and uh, means and that means an innkeeper. Me and drinks will always be on the house, Captain. Uh, he's saying you need an innkeeper. Me and drinks will always be on the house, Captain. Otherwise, it sounds like he's proposition saying that he's on the house as well. Uh, how's business? We've got business, not a lot, but there are people dropping by. Things could be better. I've been talking with the Master Bard, who's willing to send an apprentice to perform here, but he wants the place to be livelier. Someone to dance to his music, he says. So if you spot anyone that would want to work here, grab them. Literally, grab them. Grab them from what they're doing, put them in a sack, bring them here. I guess, okay, that's just the kitchen. Nothing for me to loot. Because literally, this is all mine, so if there's any lootables, I am taking them. want to do that. Okay, so I think that's about it here, because everything else is not accessible. So let's go up to the keep proper. Officer Kana, reporting for duty, Captain. Lord Nasher has given you a great honor. But rebuilding these grounds will be a considerable undertaking. And one I look forward to. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Captain. I am Master Vidal. I won't lie to you. Mm, this keep is in a sad state of repair. We will need all the resources you can bring to bear to fix her up. With the help of my crew, we can turn this place into a true masterpiece of engineering. Master Vidal is excellent at his craft and capable of what he claims. If somewhat eccentric, 
I went ahead and inspected the grounds. There is much work that needs to be done. The courtyard itself is in a shambles, but that can be fixed quickly. Strong backs and long hours and you'll see the shape of the keep. And, well, what's underneath won't be pretty, but before long we'll have the keep cleared out for you. We're embarking on a true adventure. Men, set the camp over there. I'll draw up plans for the work. There are preparations I must make. Come speak to me within the keep when you would like an update, Captain. Okay, will do. But first, other thing, even though it didn't really mention it, is we got a bunch of money. We got about 70,000 gold from Lord Nasher and the Nine to help rebuild this keep. So, while that's going to be a start, it's not going to be enough to finish everything. So, let's get started, though. We've cleared the grounds, as you can see, there is much work to be done. Work requires a certain amount of coin, my men need to be fed after all, and the amount of material, it will not be cheap. There is good news though, Sir Neville formally commissioned me to work on the project and Lord Nasha will fund part of it, but the other part is up to you, thus the 70,000 that Lord Nasher and Sir Neville gave me. It will need uh, gold to be rebuilt, but Nasher's coin will cover expenses for a time. I live for my work, you see, but others don't. How much money did he give me? Uh, I don't know the exact figures. We do. It's, like I said, 70,000, but uh, not enough. People just don't appreciate how much good masonry costs. This massive de uh, details how... Uh, okay, I can't read that right now. This missive details how much gold Neverwinter has allocated to Crossroad Keep. You can see these funds or your own to or you can use these funds or your own to work on several things. The keep, the courtyard, the fortifications, and the surrounding land. Um How's the courtyard look? Courtyard itself doesn't need anything, but there are several buildings that will have to be built from scratch. You don't have to worry about rebuilding all of it. Some accommodations will be built by people that come to uh, live here. The inn, for example, is already operational, naturally. But there are some buildings that will become shops, and those will need work. Um, is there anything wrong with the surrounding land? Oh yeah, okay, so let's just go down the list. The keep has been laid bare to the elements for decades. Many of the rooms are structurally sound, don't you know? I've uh, closed off many of the rooms until my men can... I'm... Many of the rooms are structurally sound, or unsound, I read, read that, don't you know. Okay, that makes more sense. I've closed off many rooms until my men can work on it. Rubble will be, uh, will have to be cleared and stonework repaired in there, but I can, it can be done. Okay, and what about the fortifications? Extensive work, and it's also the most time-consuming to work on. The outer wall wouldn't hold out a cobalt with a table knife right now. And the fortifications are what Lord Nasher cares most about. But when my men are working on that, we can't work on any other project until we're done. And how about the surrounding land, then? Nothing is wrong with it. It could just be so much more, right? Crossroad Keep is atop a large hill, and the trail could be widened, maybe even converted to cobblestone. And the road nearby have no local lords to maintain them. Those could be improved as well as the bridges and, well, a great deal can be done. Mostly that will help with trade and that in turn will help with you uh, funding the rest of the project. The men and I would like you to understand or undertake. Rebuilding roads is simple but very labor intensive. When the men are working on that, they can't be doing anything else. How else can I help you? Uh, I want to rebuild something. Yes, yes, of course. You have the coin to spend, and you want to know how to spend it. I might recommend doing stru some structural work on the keep first, so many of the rooms inside are closed off because they could collapse at any moment now. Why for... Er, no way for you to live. Hmm. What part of the keep... Yeah, see, okay, keep funds remaining, 70,000. Do you want to talk about? Um, we are going to talk about the courtyard. There's two buildings that will would be ideal for merchants. One can be converted into a smithy, uh, one that an armor and a blacksmith could share. The other could be 
a different type of shop, maybe some general goods or magical item purveyor. Just say the word and I'll get my men working on it. Well, we are going to build the smithy first. It shouldn't take long at all, and the smithy will be completed. I have to go right now. I'll be back once the men have finished construction. So much to do, so much to do. Okay, so... The one thing about the keep is that time actually goes by while you're in the keep and while you do travel around the keep, so, you know, we can actually get a couple of things done before we leave here to do a couple of other things, but at some point you basically reach all you can do for right now and it kind of the game kind of hints at you that, well, you should probably get back to, you know, dealing with this King of Shadows that's coming up, so... But for right now, we're going to be doing all we can in the keep. And... Hello, Grey Cloak. As you can see, we have some soldiers, but they are severely lacking equipment. Rusty axe, a leather helmet, and a cape. No armor whatsoever, so we need to fix that. Okay, now let's talk to our... It is an honor to serve, Captain. You have been rewarded greatly with this stronghold. Long have I waited for my blade to be in the service of someone worthy. My waiting is over. I was going to say, we need to go talk to you, our head of the Grey Cloaks. Well, head under me, at least. I guess you'd say maybe my sergeant? Uh, I'm not worthy, as you might think. This is an honor as much to have you and others work with me. You are too modest. We are the ship, and you are the wind that moves us. There is much yet that needs to be done. Rebuilding the keep itself, Master Vidal can handle. But training the Grey Cloaks to defend its battlements is very important. Training a few men can be done quickly with the right teachers. But Sir Naval has promised half a hundred men for you shortly. And if the keep grows, so will your retinue and your command. So, we must start with the basics and turn these farmers and shepherds into fighting men. Okay, besides training, what else do we need, or what else needs to be done? There are a few families of farmers that will want protection from the local keep, as they had in years past. This section of the high road has also been plagued with bandits since Crossroad Keep fell to the King of Shadows long ago. We have been given the right to tie the merchant trains that come through. But until the road is made safe, any tithe collectors will find the road empty. Merchants prefer safer, longer roads, especially if they make more profit. But all of this relies on training your Grey Cloaks into capable soldiers. Okay, anything else? I will carry out your orders when you are away. Once the men are trained, there are more things they can do. As our numbers swell here, I could use more able sergeants to oversee the men. I can train and assign tasks to sergeants if you find some for me. The decisions you make here may have a large impact on the cloaks and the people on your land. After some time, I'm certain Lord Nasher will have direct orders for your men. But until then, they are yours to command. Okay, well I guess so. You're not really a sergeant, you're more of a lieutenant. I'm the captain, you're the lieutenant, we need to get some sergeants. And we have Unsis here, who are you? This is a nice place you got here. Looks like it still has some holes in the walls, but nice all the same. I'm Unsis. I know you're busy, so I'll be blunt with you. I've come here with a business proposition for you. I'd like to have some of my dealings here. I don't answer questions, and if you, you're the inquisitive type, I'll just pack my gear and bid you good day. In exchange... I can find buyers for anything you want to sell. Anything at all. Just consider me no-nonsense merchants. We good? Uh, as long... Yeah. We're good. Then we're in business. For the use of the premises and your cooperation, what I'll give you is a good price. I'll buy anything you got. And sometimes I trade in information, and I'll pass along a f a, some free of charge. I'm looking forward to working with you. Well, what do you got right now? Padded armor plus five. Shadow Thief leather armor. We could use that for Nishka. 
Which I think that's better than rogue chainmail we have. Plus two. Oh no, it can only be used by a shadow thief of Alm. Which I'm guessing you're a uh, agent of the shadow thieves. Circling scales. Immune to poison. Yeah, it's all right. That could be nice though. Um, just basic daggers. A couple of items. That could be nice. Uh, some potions. Some beer. Okay, so I will be able to get all my traps and stuff from you. Venom, toolkits, trap molds, all that stuff. Do I have any, while I'm here, do I have anything yeah. to sell? Get rid of those. We're not going to be using any of those. Still don't have enough to have a full set of bolts. Get rid of those bullets, though. We'll deal with that later. How can I help? I want to get back to dealing with the keep, but um, talisman of pure evil. Get rid of the katanas. We're not going to use those. We got plus six, plus tens. Don't need plus ones. Don't really need those either. Um, don't have enough for that. Yes. Okay, and I don't think you have yes. anything. Oh, we have the spear plus two, which uh, we don't need that right now because you got something better. All the while I'm at something it, you want? You can have that. Yes. Yes. You can have the hat. Yes. And what cloaks do yes. I have? Checking for good. Yes. I had another one. Yeah, see, much better prices on all this loot we have here. I'm not going to be using any of those. Someone had a cape. How can I help? Or was I wrong, or did I have the cape? You have need of me? Follow me! Everybody, follow Something me! Something you want? Well, whatever. For right now, you can have the protection versus good. Make your path mine. Okay, now let's go talk to our lieutenant. You have need of me? How am I be of service, Captain? Uh, let's see. Give me a report on Crossroad Keep. This is, we're going to be looking at this. Uh, time past zero, 6,000, income of gold. We have 10 merchants, 5 peasants. Peasants are average civility, and the morale is average. We have 50 soldiers, which are, you know, their civility is average. They have no training, very low strength, poor weapons, no armor, and they've done no special Missions, no sergeants, building a blacksmith, and security is terrible. Okay, but we kind of figured that. I want to organize the men. We have several, we have several men, Captain, and there are many things we can do with them. Uh, the men can be assigned different tasks, training and garrison duties, patrolling the roads and the keep lands and trying to recruit more gay cloaks to join our ranks. I have assigned the men to train and garrison the keep for now. On occasion, special assignments may be available. It may be wise to check back with me whenever you come to the keep. Do you want uh, to reassign the gray cloaks? Or what the gray cloaks are doing? Uh, no, right now we're gonna keep them garrison the keep, as you wish. I did that, was the right one, yeah. Uh, yeah, train and garrison. Um, Okay, so, uh, I want to talk more in depth about the men and sergeants. Let's talk about tithing. As Captain of Crossroad Keep, you have the right and duty to collect taxes and tithes of the people on Neverwinter's land, or Lord Nasher's land. It's left to your decision how much you collect. 
Now, these funds go into the Keep's coffer and can be used for construction. There are two taxes involved, those on merchants and those on farmers. These lands have been lawless for years, and the rugged farmers here are not used to being taxed. They may resent it. The merchants are also used to the Keep's portion of the high road being a free road, but a dangerous one. If we tithe them at all, they may consider longer, safer backcountry roads or hiring uh, ships from High Cliff. Until the land is tamed, any taxes you impose may only cause, uh, only uh, chase those we need away. Um. Uh, okay, so we don't. Let's tax farmers. Pay may need to be adjusted. Uh, let's see. Tithe on. I want to talk about that. Let's make sure they are. Okay, no tithe. That's what we want to keep for right now. Uh, and unlike merchants, farmers aren't taxed regularly, but after. The Luskin War, Lord Nasher has been forced to send tax collectors to his lands more frequently. You can expect the same. Uh, I will let you know what tax collectors are coming, though, but you have to set the tax amount before them. Uh, no tax on the farmers right now. Before you, can, you came to the land, had no lord, I'm sure the farmers will appreciate it, remaining that way, and the people of the keep as well. Um, let's talk about something else. Okay, uh, let's see, give me a point of the keep where I did that. How about surrounding areas? Her roads are some of the most dangerous in the realm. Only well-armed travelers will consider going down them. Only a few merchants use our roads, not enough to support the keep. It isn't too much different than when you became captain. The surrounding lands are as wild as they were at the beginning, possibly worse. Bandits have been using this area as a haven for many years. They will be uh, hard to drive out. There have been hardly any changes since we've started here. The same handful of farmers buried in the hills. The land is practically empty. Okay, so that's all we need to know there. Um, we're in depth about the men and their sergeants. Uh, what do you want to know about your men? Uh, the Bellray... Well, we already know that they're not. Okay, yeah, we need to do this. What sort of standards do we have for recruiting new men? The Great Cloak are primarily a peasant militia, so any men able to carry a spear is let in. Perhaps not any men. Criminals are those, or those who have an air about them, are not accepted. But you don't have to be so lax, Captain. We can make our standards higher. If we have higher standards, we will find fewer recruits, but they will be more capable. You can always lower the bar if you need more men. But be careful, because once you lower our standards, we can never raise them back up. And we want to keep, so yeah, we have the options here. That are in good shape and can be in good soldiers. Standards should be the same as the rest of the gay cloak or gray cloaks. Uh, if a man wants to join, we'll take him, no matter the circumstances. Anyone should be able to join and offer amnesty to any criminals we catch. So, I mean, you know, those are the options. But we want only the best in the Grey Cloaks. It will be as you command. What do you want to know, Captain? We don't have any other people, so that's all I need to know. We'll maybe t ask about yourself later, since we're going to be seeing a lot of you. Well, Wolf's minion. Casimir, you got anything to say? Yes. Is there something you wish of me? Uh, no. You have nothing new to say. So let's see where we can go for right now. Hi, Quara. Great. What's wrong now? Nothing. And it will stay that way as long as you just stop trying to burn down things. Especially, I expect you not to try to burn down my keep now. Uh, I can't go through there. What about over here? Go to the basement. That's blocked off and that's blocked off. So it looks like the basement is the only place I can go right now. Although I see that room back there. And we got a construct. Alchemist workbench. Okay, so yeah, magician's workbench. 
Does Kratzik make no response? You may want to ask Grobnar any questions about it. Where are you, Grobnar? There you are. Uh, one thing. I had a favor, really. I keep hearing about this tome of Ilkazar. And if I recall correctly, it has a few fascinating chapters on Gollumcraft. So? Well, if we were to get a hold of it, we might be able to use it to help upgrade the construct. I mean, he's walking around and healthy as Gollums go. But I only know so much about Gollums. There may be something I missed that could help him that would be in the tome. Sounds good. If we can restore him completely, he'll be an asset. That's what I say. So glad you agreed. I was worried this was one of those times when I had a bad idea. Actually, it's probably one of the only good ideas you've had so far. Okay. I don't think I have that book, so I don't think it was one that we picked up from some of the corpses of the Luskins. Does not look like it. What ring was that? Was that my... Okay, yeah, that was just my ring of wizardry. That I don't need anymore. Um, I don't think anyone yeah. else has any of the books. Book of Fire. How can I help? Yes. Yeah, no, no one else has it. Okay. Yes. Anything I can loot down here? Hey! It's my big giant spider friend, Kestrel. Kestrel chitters excitedly when he sees you. How do you know to come here? You left rather abruptly last time. Kestrel scribes what appears to be a crude drawing of you and himself both walking. There's a large gap between the two pictures. It would seem that Kessel has been following you for quite some time. It wasn't necessary to keep your distance. I would have welcomed you to the company. Kessel gestures at the room with his mandibles and stares at you excitedly. You get the impression he asks you if he can stay. Well, yes, you can stay. Kestrel clicks his mandibles excitedly. So, now we got a pet spider in our basement. What more could we want? We got a golem that needs to be fixed, but we have one, and a giant spider. I say we're doing alright so far for our keep. I think... Oh, what do we have here? Potion shelf. Mass Charm Monster. I can describe that. You don't have, don't have the level, though. Um, I have Cloud Kill. Probably never going to use it, but sure, why not? Okay. Um, what don't I need? What is that? Druid spell. Oh yeah, I don't have our druid with us anymore. We got any wisdom potions? You can have that one. Don't really need those anymore. That'll work. Um, so I think that's all there. Oh, but I missed, uh... Hi! What are you doing here? I've seen much of the road during my time, but apparently so have you. you found old Gaivin many a time. I think it will be good to rest my heels here, record my thoughts, make a few maps, and enjoy life a... enjoy life a while. But only for a while. The road calls old Gaivin. Yes, it does. Uh... It's good to have you here at the Keep. Don't much care for the keep, I must say, but I don't much care for any walled place. Gaivin's 
got to his reasons for coming here. Before these old bones see their final rest, my secret's got to be passed on to someone who's walking as many roads as me. So if you explore, old uh, Gaivin will share a thing or two, pass on his wisdom to, of the road. Yeah, can you teach me your secrets? Throughout this wild land, you may have sights you've never imagined, or find sights you've never imagined. Sometimes you'll find some nooks or crannies. Take a gander and explore it like old Gyvern, and you'll care, and uh, we can share some notes. Okay, and tell me about your maps. Two tasks are left to Gyvern. Make a map of the lands I've wandered and find myself a worthy successor. The maps I've been working on are of Neverwinter and her woods, of the Mirror, and as far north as Luskin. Don't know how much help it will be for one such as you, but Gyvern wants to leave a legacy. Okay, well, you do that. You continue making your maps and north... Oh, so is that your book there? Well, you could read that if you so inclined. So we got there, and I can't go anywhere else, it looks like. Unless I've missed something over here. To the courtyard. Yeah, so I think that is all we can do right now here. At least inside the keep. Although, looks like Master Vidal is done. The construction is complete, Captain. I am eager to hear what you want us to do next. We want you to now we build something else. My favorite subject. What do you want me to build? I need you to build uh, something in the courtyard. We want you to build the merchant shop. What lucky merchants will get this shop? I wonder. It uh, shouldn't take that long to construct it. We'll not compare it to some of the other projects. So much to do, so much to do. Okay, so now, as our shadows cast along whatever across there, um, let's see, where is the merchant shop, or the smithy? So we can at least see it now that it's finished. Where merchant shop is going to be there, ruined church, smithy. Walked right past it. So now we got a smithy up and running, or at least we have the building. But we actually need to get some more people in here to, you know, garrison these new buildings. Or, you know, it's not no use having a smithy and a merchant shop if you don't got people in them, so... But, we've met a couple of people who have seemed interested in moving their operations, so... Looks like we're going to be going on a recruiting tool... Tool. A recruiting tour, even. 